Hello and welcome to Outlook 2010 Mail Merging Contacts within Outlook. Brought to you by Shiftkey Solutions and I am Eric Ripley. Thanks for joining me today. In this short tutorial we're going to be covering the steps involved in creating a, um, uh, um, a set of labels from our contacts within Outlook. So these steps are quite easy. Traditionally, before 2010, we had to use um, uh, Microsoft Word uh, in association with or in conjunction with Microsoft Outlook. So now with 2010, they've made it quite easy for us. If I come down here to my contacts, I have my list of contacts here. And then what I want to do, let's say the scenario for this is that... Um, uh, our manager has asked us to take the contacts that we have and create labels for an upcoming uh, meeting that we're having, like a joint meeting with multiple offices, and they want to have uh, name badges for everyone. So we got to create some labels. So if that's the case, we have our contacts here, and then from our home tab, we're going to come over to our actions group and click mail merge our mail merge uh, contacts dialog box comes up and then it asks, asks us some options here um, we're going to use our contacts, all contacts in current view that's what's showing in the background here only selected contacts which means we could have uh, specific contacts selected three or four or fifty out of a thousand or what have you um, we can also come down here for a document file we can choose a new document or an existing document maybe there's a template created that you want to uh, populate this information into. Um, we're going to use a new document. Down here, contact data file. We can use this to uh, create a permanent file that we can reuse time and time again. For our purposes, we're not going to use this. Now, uh, down here for merge options, we're going to ask, we're going to be asked what type of document. Well, we want to do labels. We have some to choose from here. Form letters means that it's like a template, uh, uh, a template letter. Um, in which we can plug in field placeholders, meaning first name, last name, email, so on and so forth, and email that letter to uh, everyone in a contact group um, or in my contacts. Um, and it, it appears as though that they receive the email specifically to them. They don't know that they're part of a larger group of contacts. Needless to say, we can also create envelopes and uh, catalogs. We're going to choose uh, mailing labels here and we want it to go to a new document and we're going to click OK. When we do this, it tells us that there are some uh, contact groups that are in our view in the background here that will not be merged. And we say thank you Outlook for making that uh, filter for us. I'm going to click OK. And it opens up Microsoft Word here for us and then it tells us right here Outlook created a mail merge document and prepared your contact data for you. To complete the setup uh, for mailing labels, press the setup button in section one of the mail merge helper dialog box. Now I've had some students in the past get to this point and say, well, I don't see a section one anywhere. That's okay. You have to click OK first. When you do, here's your mail merge helper. This is a throwback to the 2000 version of Office, Word, and, uh, and, and before, this little dialog box. But it's still useful. So we're going to click the setup and from our setup here we're going to be uh, choosing where we want it to print to. We want it to go to a manual paper feed because we're going to load the uh, labels into the uh, manual tray feeder. Down here for uh, label vendors we want we have to be specific in clicking this drop down and choosing the appropriate vendor. Well more times than not we're using Avery labels they just are the most popular label out there um, that I'm aware of anyway uh, if that's the case we're gonna come down and choose um, Avery US letter and when we do we're gonna get a list of all of the Avery codes now if you've ever purchased Avery labels you'll notice that on the um, package on the outside it has a code 5160s those are a popular size those are mailing labels so let's scroll down and take a look and see if we can find 5160s. I bet we will. I think I passed it.
There they are. 5160s, and it gives us a description of what it is over here. Um, from here, I'm going to click OK. And then there's nothing else I need to do. I don't need to create a data source. If I wanted to, I could create a data source. But I, I've already started that from our contacts um, in our Outlook. So I'm going to click Close. And this is what my document's going to look like. From here, I'm going to want to zoom in so, so I can see my whole page at once. Now, um, this looks like a blank page. So one of the tricks that I like to show students uh, and clients who are doing this type of uh, uh, exercise or project at work um, is to display your uh, grid lines. And the way you do that is there's a couple ways to get to it. But if you go to um, your design tab here and come over to borders, click the drop down arrow, and then come down here to view grid lines. Now I can see the structure of the labels themselves on the page. And one thing I want to keep in mind and remind myself of is that any effects or changes I make to this first cell, I call it a cell, um, will apply to all the cells. Which what I'm saying is that I can't come to this uh, particular cell and make changes and expect it to apply or be affected to all my sheets, my entire sheet. So I have to make changes here. So let's come back here to our uh, mailings tab. And then from here, I want to insert some uh, placeholders, some field placeholders. Now, there are a couple ways of doing this. There are some people who like to use the uh, start mail merge uh, wizard here, the step-by-step -step mail merge wizard. If you click this, you get your step-by-step -step, uh, task pane here. For me, I'm not going to use that. It's going to be pretty simple without it. Uh, I'm going to come up here to my insert merge fields. And I'm going to come down and look for full name. Uh, here's the first name. There's full name. So if I click this, it's going to appear right there. Now, the next thing I need to do to apply this to all of the uh, labels on the sheet, or for that matter, merge the data, I'm going to click uh, Update Labels. When I do, it's going to come up with this. Now, for me to view it, to preview what this looks like, I'm going to click right here in the Preview Results group, click Preview Results. Here are the names. Now, from here, there's a whole list of effects and modifications and font style and paragraph spacing and all that stuff that you can apply to this. Well, I'm going to go through some basic ones here. So um, some of the first things you can do is uh, affect the alignment. You come up to our Layout tab. And then from our Layout tab, we want to affect the alignment. So what I'm going to do is put my cursor just above these cells here, click and drag to the right to, so that they're all selected, and then click the Align Center. And it drops them down to the center of the label. Now, uh, in addition to this, that's a small print. So let me select them again. I'm going to come back to my Home tab, go to my font color. Let's say I want to have the uh, nice dark red here. I'm going to click this and then change the font size to oh, 18 and then click to deselect it. That looks like a good print. Okay. So from here, I'm going to go back to my mailings tab. And then uh, now that I'm done, I can print it. If when I'm ready to print it, I'm going to click right here, finish and merge. I'm going to click print document. It's going to ask me what do I want to print. I want to print all of them. And then just identify the printer and click OK and it prints. That's it. It's quite that simple. Thanks for joining me and uh, don't forget to comment.